what is given to us a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals to a b plus b c plus c right a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals to a b plus b c plus c a this is the only condition given to us in the question right a square plus b square plus c square should be equal to a b plus b c plus c a is there any other condition no the only other condition is the real term used here right for real a b c which means a b and c have to be real numbers you cannot use uh, imaginary numbers right these have to be real numbers so what will be the value of a plus c by b a plus c divided by b is equal to what now instead of trying to recall all those uh, identities and formulae that we have learned in algebra and then uh, sorting it I think it's better you substitute some values right so the method that we are talking about the smart method that we are talking about is substitution right substitution method what will we do here in this method substitute random values for a b and c satisfying the given condition now the condition here is a square plus b square plus c square equals to a b plus b c plus c now since there is no other condition involved I think it's very easy to identify what can be the values of a b c can I, just, can I simply say a equals to b equals to c equals to 2 yes because 2 square plus 2 square plus 2 square will be equal to 2 into 2 plus 2 into 2 plus 2 into 2. You understand? 2 squared, 4, 2 squared, 4, 2 squared, 4, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. What happens on the right hand side? 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 2, 4. Again, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. Balance, right? The left hand side and right hand side are balanced. So I can say that A, B and C, all three of them can be equal to 2. Right? There is no other condition given in the question. Let me repeat myself again. We have to satisfy all the conditions. We have satisfied both the conditions here. Condition number one that this equation has to be balanced and condition two that A, B, C have to be real. You are getting it? So if A, B, C all three are equal to two, then what is the value of A plus C divided by B? Just substitute. Now that these three values have satisfied the given equation, just substitute the C values in A plus C by B. So what will be the answer? 2 plus 2 upon 2, which is equal to 4 by 2. 2 is the answer hence option 2 is correct now I am sure some of you will be you know will will question me that are these type of questions asked in SSE exam do these kind of simple questions such sitters do really come in SSE exam or not the answer is yes because I have chosen these questions from the previous year's paper in fact from the last year's paper right I think Vinay Shukla has got a doubt he says uh, ye SSE mein aayega kya? well is sal aayega nahi aayega nahi pata vinay but last year to definitely pucha gaya tha right i told you 45 sets the 45 sets banaye gaye the ssc cgl ke un 45 sets mein se kisi ek set mein ye question pucha gaya tha right so no doubt that such questions are actually asked anyway let me move to the next one so the whole idea today is about substitution right what we are going to do is substitute values randomly satisfying the given conditions Again, you have to be careful when you substitute, right? You have to substitute in such a way that you don't violate any of the conditions or don't go against the classical laws of mathematics and then find out the required answer. So how do you deal with this one? I mean, simple question. He says 1 by root a minus 1 by root b plus to 0. That's one condition given to us. Based on this condition, he's asking us to find out what will be 1, I, 1 by a plus 1 by b. Now, you can do a lot of drama here to arrive at what is 1 by a plus 1 by b. I mean, solve, work on this equation. The only thing that you can work on is this equation given to you, right? I mean, it's like... It's like this, no, if you take the LCM as root AB, then this will be like root B minus root A equals to zero. And I don't know what's the next step because I don't follow these methods, right? Waste of time in my view. So one root B minus root A equals to zero. Then overall you can say root B minus root A or, you know, basically B is equal to A, right? B is equal to A. And that's what we come at, right? If, if you go by this solution, root B minus root A by root AB equals to zero. Then finally, when you take root AB to the other side, we have root B minus root A equals to 0. Let me put that step as well, right? Root B minus root A equals to 0. Or from this, you can say root B equals to root A. Root B equals to root A. And then we can say B is equal to A. B is equal to A. So that's the understanding. B equals to A. This can happen only when B is equal to A. And, and you don't actually have to do this. I mean, the only way that 1 by root A, min, uh, 1 by root A minus 1 by root B is 0 is only when A and B are equal. Right? So A is equal to B. That's the conclusion. Now substitute that back in this requirement, right? So 1 by a plus 1 by b. So we can say 1 by a plus, instead of 1 by b, I can take it as 1 by a itself. So 1 by a plus 1 by a will become 2 by a. So the answer is 2 by a. But look at the options. In the options, we don't have 2 by a available. But then you need to remember that b is equal to a. So wherever we have b in the option, let's substitute a. So 1 by e, this becomes what? Root over a into a. Root over a into a. Root over a into a is root a square, which is a. But is the answer 1 by a? No. So option 1 gets eliminated. This will become root a into a. Root a into a is root a square, which is again equal to a, but in fact, because we want it to be 2 by a. 
Similarly, if you look at third option, 2 by root AB. So root AB is like root A square, which is A. So 2 by root AB becomes 2 by A. So this is 2 by A. So option 3 is correct. And then here, we don't even have to verify option 4. So this is one way of doing it, right? Where you find the option 3 is the correct answer. However, in my view, a simpler way of solving such questions is to just go by substitution, right? Substitute values in place of A and B. Substitute values in place of A and B, right? Just go for substitution. Substitute the values in such a way that you don't violate any of the conditions. Now here the condition you will do is 1 by root A minus 1 by root B equals to 0. Simple substitution, substitute A equals to 4 and B equals to 4 or 1 and 1 or maybe 9 and 9. We can substitute 5 and 5 also, but who would simplify root 5 now? I mean, we don't want to get into that, right? Substitute A equals to uh, 4 and B equals to 4, right? Assume A is equals to 4, B is equal to 4. So 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 which becomes 0. He is asking us to find out what is 1 by A plus 1 by B. Now 1 by A plus 1 by B equals to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 is 2 by 4. 2 by 4 is 1 by 2. So basically, if we assume A is equal to 4 and B equals to 4, we satisfy the given condition. And by substituting the same values of A and B as 4 in the equation that needs to be very solved, we get the value as 1 by 2. We have got the numerator as 1 by 2. Now how do we verify this one of the options? Substitute the same values of A and B in each of these options and see which one satisfies. And you're done. Substitute one after the other and check. So this becomes what? I mean, I'll do it mentally now. So 1 by root over AB will become 1 by root over, uh, see A and B were 4 and 4, right? So 4 into 4. So root 16, root 16 is 4. This becomes 1 by 4. But we want it to be 1 by 2, so eliminate it. This is root over 4 into 4. Root over 4 into 4 is 4. What we want is 1 by 2, so eliminate it. This is 2 by root over 4 into 4. So root over 4 into 4 is 4. 2 by 4 is 1 by 2, and that's the answer. Take it. So substitution is a very, very important uh, technique, right?